Hello everybody. I'm Dr. Lavnia. I'm a senior consultant in Cloud9, practicing obstetrics and gynecology. I also do fertility and I'm a minimal invasive surgeon. That is, I do laparoscopy and robotic surgeries as well. When we're talking about myomectomy or what is a myoma, let's understand that. Myoma is nothing but a fibroid. That means a little excessive growth in the uterus. It's nothing but a muscular layer of the uterus becomes more bulged and this leads into a mass formation. Myomas can be anywhere in the uterus. It can be outside and we call this as a subserosal or it can be in between the muscles and we call this as intramural or it can be underneath very close to the endometrium or right beneath the endometrium and we call this as submucosal fibroids. Whenever people have fibroids, most of them can be asymptomatic, that means they have no symptoms. But while a few of them can end up having a lot of discomfort, pain, excessive bleeding and sometimes if it's very huge, it can cause compression in the ureters leading into hydronephrosis where the kidneys are becoming bigger. In such cases, we would need surgery. What are the surgeries that we could do for this myoma or the fibroid removal? We have various options. We do have robotic surgery or the laparoscopic surgery, which is called as a minimal invasive surgery. We could also do it through an open method where we call it as an abdominal myomectomy. Let me tell you the advantages of minimal invasive surgery. The commonest done is the laparoscopic surgeries and the open surgery. Whenever we're doing an open myomectomy, what happens? We're going to make a big incision, longer incisions on your tummy and then Compared to a laparoscope, it's minimal invasive, the name says it all. So small three incisions will be done on your abdomen and we are going to remove this fibroid through that. Whenever we have a bigger scars, you know, the healing takes longer, risk for infections and your recovery also becomes a little delayed. That is the advantage in laparoscopy where your incisions are much lesser, so infection is much lesser. Your recovery is more faster, so you can be up about and then get back to your work and also get back to your family much quicker. It's hardly a daycare surgery, we would say at the maximum, we would keep you back for just a day. So whenever we do a minimal invasive surgery, lesser chances of blood transfusion. And this is going to help you recover faster. Myomectomy, we always say bleeding can be very profuse and sometimes a double consent of removing the hysterectomy can be there. So again, like I mentioned, laparoscopy is going to lead into a way less blood transfusion and blood loss.